Okay, this is that 1937 Farmall F30 rim that uh, I had to replace these two spokes on. And they're just bolted together right now so they could be welded. But I'm planning on putting rivets. These are double headed rivets. They also have the same round head on the other side. But uh, I'm planning on making the rivets and going ahead and putting them in. Uh, there was two holes right here and here that were fairly good size and they were welded shut and as you can see it's all pitted and everything but uh, I'm gonna put a little body filler in there metal filler not body filler and uh, make it look a little better but uh, as a whole the things you know almost 90 years old I think it'll work but um, let's see if I can get this turned around here and uh, we can look at the other side these are actually fairly heavy rims. And, okay, well, while we're here, this is the inside of the rim. And I kind of overground these. You don't have to have them, you know, glass smooth or anything. It's actually smoother than the surrounding area here, but uh, just so there's no sharp edges, I'm going to put a little bit of a filler on top of that just to smooth it out to make sure. Uh, there's no problems with the uh, tube But here's the other side and right through here was a uh, another hole and uh, I've got it kind of ground down fairly good, but it's it's still gonna be rough. There's pits and you know massive pits in here, so I'm just gonna like I said put a little bit of metal filler in there and call it good and You can see the welds there and over here, let's see if I can get enough light back to this one. There's also one uh, spoke on this one that I missed that was pretty pitted. So I decided to go ahead and change it. It would go right here. And I've also got to grind that down a little bit here. But uh, replace that spoke and grind them down clean it up and then it's ready to go but uh, I'm happy with it uh, I just wish this wasn't so pitted but not much I can do about it but uh, I believe this is the outside so I'll just have to live with it like I said it's almost 90 years old so but that's the progress 